hello there. So, launch box. I'm gonna be saying issues that happen on RetroArch if you're using it as your own component. See, I have Nintendo DS and it does launch. But what about it doesn't launch, but you have directory set up or whatever. So first thing, you're going to go on to manage emulators, retroarch and edit. We're not going to edit anything in here. We do not need to. All we need to click is associated platforms. So whatever platform that you're on that isn't working, we'll have to see which one it is. So this is Nintendo 64 right here. You're going to click OK. So let's say I drag a Nintendo 64 game and it wasn't wasn't working what you have to do is check if your emulator that you're using is compatible the way that you do that is going on your load core then we're gonna check if our Nintendo 64 emulator for example is the actual emulator so I have moved in 64 plus next so if I go into tools manage emulators and edit you'll see that is the emulator so if i add in my thing it would work but if it's a different emulator but and it isn't working but what about it is if there's a ch still a chance that it might not be and is that Let's say you're using an emulator like SNES and NX. I'm not sure if it's supported, but let's just say it. Then you're trying to see why it's not working on there. Maybe it's because you're using the wrong version. So let's go back in here because there's different versions sometimes for different emulators. SNES and NX, I know, has 2010, a 2010 version. So we've gone to Super Nintendo. Okay, so super see SNES 9X. And if I go on to load core, I do have SNES 9X. The actual one. But let's say you installed the wrong core. Let's say you installed SNES 9X 2010. Or 2005 or all those emulators it might not work and that's the problem you may have in why it's not working the second problem could be let's say retrarch isn't like launching you check the emulator it's all right you got your directory wrong and this isn't that hard to locate you probably chose it but you probably don't know where it is. Mine is on my desktop for because I sometimes edit the retro file for no reason. Except I need to. <laughs> so, you might gotta know the directory wrong, so. This is my directory. Your directory will be RetroArch. But I downloaded it through the file right here, so you see? You're gonna choose the RetroArch EXE folder. And you might have just chosen the a file or a different a exe file that's the reason it's not launching so that's a different problem if you're having that i didn't have that problem so those are two issues they're having with launchbox also if you're watching this and you don't have launchbox try try it out it, it, it has a great community and also people there who are supportive and also very helpful and the program is very useful it has paid features like big box but I'm using the free version and that works still works pretty great so yeah thanks for watching and bye bye